Okay, hello. So this is the second dev update for the Blue Screen Simulator Plus uh, 2.1 project. So let's have some fun, shall we? Okay, let's start with the new updates of this Blue Screen Simulator Plus 2.1 update. Uh, second dev update. So this is the second dev update. This build of uh, Blue Screen Simulator Plus 2.1 has several improvements and enhancements over the previous build showcased in the previous dev update video. Um, the first update is that uh, in the NTR of the message field you can specify a custom error. So if I set this message to chicken, for example, this is just a random example, we say simulate. You can see it says chicken in the stop code. Uh, next change, you may have noticed if you're paying close attention, is that by default now uh, the progress indicator actually just doesn't increment by one, it actually looks much more realistic. Um, so it increments by a random number. And just like that, the error screen closes. But I didn't stop there, I created a whole progress tuning utility. What this allows you to do is set how much the progress indicator gets incremented by uh, at each time interval. So, so in theory, this should go only up to 90% and then increment by 17 at one point. So let's see if that's the case. And right there, it incremented by 17. And it stops at 90%. So we set the total time to 5 time units. So we set that to 2 time units. So we can see that it's not exactly um, 1 second here. So if we showcase what this looks like, yeah that wasn't 2 seconds was it? And yeah without that restore it, it just stays there. Uh, next up, uh, there are updates if you go to the settings, go to simulator settings, there's a bunch of new stuff here. So first of all, uh, there's an option to add randomness to progress controls in legacy configurations, so what I mean by that uh, is that uh, if we open a legacy configuration like this one by default it's gonna do the uh, linear increment that it was doing before and that's okay um, but uh, what this option allows you to do is add randomness to it you can see it's how it's more realistic. Uh, but let's say you want to go back to the default. How would you do that? Now, well, of course, as a developer, I have access to these buttons, which are not in the final version of this simulator, but they exist if you enable developer mode, which uh, is a secret mode. But uh, now you have access to some of these options. In developer mode, new wall basically restores the defaults and uh, new call just removes all the configs but you are actually able to do all of this if you check select all configurations here and you can remove configurations it shows a warning and then we can reset everything and we also have the reset hacks option which releases everything on the traditional options menu, yes. Uh, but if you go here, all the configs are reset, and we actually have a different sort of progress incrementation. So, uh, there is actually now a way uh, to export in a different configuration file formats. 
uh, previously in version 2.0 you only had this and now you also have this one uh, but really it didn't have this option here and we can save as that format the ps and when we do that uh, it's gonna ask what are you gonna use as the Windows 10 screen what are you gonna use as the 8 screen in the older version you didn't have uh, a way to create multiple uh, blue screens of the same operating system this is why it's asking you that I auto detects which ones are suitable so just with the default config here all we have to do is just smash yes and yes and yes so this right here is version 1.1.2 I think this was the version that yeah fixed the text said wrong things uh, but if you go to the hacks menu now we can actually load this file and it loads so if you go to Windows Vista 7 you can see it generates you can see Windows 2000 actually has the font it's supposed to have in the old version oh yeah there's one thing I changed here uh, in prank mode if I uncheck that it displays a different message also I fixed the bit the margins on the Windows 7 screen so it looks more accurate so that was uh, the second dev update for uh, the blue screen simulator 2.1 update so thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day maybe